See it? That is so freaking cool. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another SH Figure Arts action figure review on the Bandai Tamashi Nation's Avengers Age of Ultron Thor. If you're trying to pick this up, you can get it. Big, 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 big. Get your big badass toys at bigbadtoystore.com. Click the link in the description below. Pretty standard SH Figure Arts packaging. We get the Avengers logo right up here. We get an Avengers logo up there. It says Thor, Avenger. Oh, no, that's just the hammer. Sorry. So there's Mjolnir. And then on the side, you can see Thor, Avengers logo once again. And then on the back, you can see there's back style for you man butt lovers and then there's molding movable option parts there's the figure again then there's chris hemming again all right let's get to it and crack this thing open and here's thor out of the packaging a pretty cool figure definitely not a great figure i wouldn't call it a great piece i do have problems with it but i do like it at the same time i really like this effect right here with the flung meal in there that's pretty cool and we do get the same quality craftsmanship that we typically get from bandai tamashi nations with sh figure arts but there's just a bunch of little complaints like first off the head he cannot look up that's frustrating for me i wish he could look up and there's some other things i'll mention too but he does come with a lot of accessories so let's take a closer look at those then we'll take a closer look at the mighty thor so thor comes with six pairs of interchangeable hands you get a pair of fisted hands right there you get his mjolnir grabbing hands and then you get your jane foster grabby hands yeah and then you get these three interchangeable eyes just like the captain america figure that came out from sh figure arts for age of ultron you get your forward looking eyes your left and your right right over there then you have mjolnir looking really dope I like this a lot great detail in here nice touches of black paint on this I like it a lot nice silver right there on the handle then you have the flinging one which is attached to this hand over here and you can just switch out the hammer part itself and just put it right there so that works out very nicely so not a bad head sculpt on this figure I cannot say it looks dead on Chris Hemsworth but it looks okay yeah it's all right you know flaring nostrils and all it looks like a nice angry Thor and a nice flesh tone I do like that they gave him a little bit of a darker flesh tone than I'm used to seeing I really like the hair the hair looks really good I like how it's pliable right over here too so you can pose them around and stuff and really nice paint apps on here too so I'm really digging that. You even have the little bands here painted, which I rarely see. Most of the time that just ends up being the same color as the hair on the Thor figures, you know, so I appreciate that. You do get the seam right over here from interchanging out the eyes. And to interchange the eyes, you pop the whole head off like so, and then you split his face in half, then you remove the eyes right over there. So if you want to see how the left eyes look, there's that. And then the right looking eyes, there's that. And I really like them a lot. You can get some very realistic facial expressions just by having the eyes looking in different directions. I think it's really cool. Now I'm not very happy with the cape on this figure. I do like that they have this softer material right over here for this top section. And the armor looks really good. But going back to the cape, uh, you can see that it's sculpted pretty nicely. You know, you get some nice wrinkles in here and stuff. Nice black over the red. So I like that they have paint detail on there. You get that shadowing effect. But the functionality of it is very annoying. Same deal as the Batman that we've gotten from SH Figure Arts, and it does pop off pretty easily. So this just plugs into these two little pieces right up here. So you do have display options with this, which is pretty cool. These do have articulation, so you can hinge everything up and down, and then you can swing these parts in and out, you know? So I think that's pretty neat. I uh, don't want that splitting right there. So yeah, you can get it lifting up pretty far. It tends to fall down though, so let's see if we can get that stain. Uh, if you're lucky enough and you can balance it right, it'll stay up there. It'll stay up. But, you know, not a terrible looking cape. You know, it's just that it comes apart very easily for me. And I think it's so big and it gets in the way when you're posing him around that I like the idea of just being able to take these side pieces off right here. So you can remove those, move those off to the side, and then you get Thor with just a smaller, thinner cape. And I think that looks just a little bit better and it's just a little bit easier to work with. Also, you have the option of removing this completely. So you can detach this and then you can just have him capeless as he appeared in the movie. So that's not inaccurate or anything. It looks all right. Now going back to the armor, I really think the details came out very nice on this. I love that gunmetal color. We get some nice silver right over there. We get the variations of blue etched out detail all over the place. The flesh tone is really good again. I like how the arms came out too, looking very realistic. Nice shadowed detail right there with the flesh paint. I like that. And they even painted this nice flesh tone right there for that armpit joint. 
And then these bands right over here on his forearms look really good as well. Now one thing I'm not necessarily happy about is the way that his torso is sculpted. Uh, this kind of looks like he has a little bit of a paunch going on, you know? It's just too bulky over here, and it's just too much stuff layered in there. And it just kind of makes him look, I don't know, too round to me. It makes him look very stocky. And I just think it's off model to how the character is supposed to look, you know? I mean, I know, I guess the Norse god Thor was made to look very stocky, but this guy isn't, you know, really supposed to have that same kind of look. Uh, looking on the back over here, you can see more etched out detail. You can get some nice little silver bits right there, so that's looking pretty nice. There's his butt cover, then some nice tealish silver color right over here on the side, so I like how the mesh looks. Looks pretty good. The boots came out looking really nice. The wrinkles look very good on this. Very clean paint apps on this guy, so I think that's pretty awesome. Nice treads right there at the bottom of the boots, not too bad. And then looking on the back, the straps look really good. Nice color variations in there. So, you know, not a bad figure. Can't say this is a bad figure, but yeah, those things I mentioned, especially the paunch right over there, they do bother me. So the articulation on this figure is good in some parts and then very frustrating in others. Like first off, you cannot get his head to move up. I mean, you can get it to look up just a tiny bit like that but not enough for flying poses and that's frustrating. Can't look down very far though. And he gets side to side movement and he does have the head and neck pivot. So that's pretty good. I already went over the cape articulation. He does have an armpit joint that moves inward right here. He can move his shoulders outward that far. He can rotate forward. He does have a swivel right here up at the top right there where the shoulder connects. He also has a double jointed elbow that bends in all the way. He has a forearm swivel right here and his wrist swivel and you can hinge them around depending on which direction you turn that ball joint. Now here's his diaphragm joint which is very frustrating for me because you have this little panel piece which I was complaining about earlier and it really works against the articulation. You cannot get him crunching forward without this thing popping off. So to demonstrate, you know, you can see that it's bending backwards a little bit but it wants to pop off so you get a little bit I guess and then it can move backwards a lot more so. But yep, there it goes. So as soon as I keep trying it and then without it there he can crunch forward very far. So if you want him crunched all the way you can have him pose like that and have that piece removed. When I turn him side to side at the diaphragm over here, uh, that thing pops off as well, as well as doing the pivot at the diaphragm. So all of that movement causes this thing to pop off. I had done a take of this articulation segment already. Uh, he does have a uh, waist joint right here, which is kind of hard to move, and it does pivot at the waist a little bit. It's kind of hard to tell the difference between the waist joint and the diaphragm joint, but that can pivot and it can crunch a little bit at the waist as well. He does have the hip joints that shift up and down, so I like that, and he can get him to kick out. Whoop, that just popped off, all right. So without it popping off on me, the legs can move outward that much. He has an upper thigh swivel over there. He has the knees that bend in this much. I wish the knees could bend in a little bit more than that. It's like this little strap piece is hindering that articulation. And then you can get his angles to move downward, move upward. He has the toe articulation. You can rotate side to side, and he does have ankle pivot. Now this is a Japanese import figure, so Thor is standing just a little under six and a half inches tall. Then here's our SH Figure Arts Thor next to the Marvel Legends Age of Ultron Thor, and then we have the Dark World Thor from Diamond Select, and you can see how short this guy is compared to these two figures. Then here's our Figure Arts Thor next to the Avengers 1 Figma Thor, and you can see they stand just at about the same height. This guy did have the articulated hair, really wish they did something like that for this one. Then here's the Figure Arts Thor next to the Figure Arts Age of Ultron Captain America, Mark 45 Iron Man, and the Hulk. And I like the size difference between the Thor and the Hulk over here, but when I see Thor next to the Iron Man in the cap, ugh, this guy needs to be so much taller. Look at that, he's the same exact height as the Iron Man figure, and just a a little bit taller than Cap. I think this Thor figure should be standing a little bit closer to like around up here, right? And then here's Thor next to the Marvel Legends big time letdown Spider-Man. Hey Thor, you ever notice that your girlfriend looks a lot like Natalie Portman? Oh, you ever see Black Swan? Oh man, there's this one part with her and Mila Kunis. Ah! Yeah. Great movie. So I've complained about the cape, which is something that you can work with. And then I also complained about that ab crunch joint and everything, and that's something else that you can work with. So I can't say that it's a terrible figure. Uh, one thing that doesn't really help so much though is that whole hair piece and the fact that he can't look up without removing the back head piece. But again, if you're really good with some angles and shots, you can make it work. So not a terrible figure, but I do have my complaints and I think they could have done a little bit better. And I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button, click any of these boxes right over here if you want more shirt in your face. If you're 18 years of age or older, check out the Patreon account. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and go to MarvelousNews.com for a photo gallery of images from this review. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. I'm